<clears throat> Is this thing on? Here we go. Wait for it. There we go. Sunday night. Is this thing on? Hey, hey, hey. Good evening, friends. Good morning, if it's morning where you are. I don't think it's morning. Most people wouldn't tune in to me in the morning. If it is morning where you are, let me know. How's everybody doing? Um, oh my God, is that Joe Dolman wearing a beanie? He's covering up that lockdown lockdown mop it's like i can deal with seeing what only seeing out of one eye but two eyes being covered up by hair is a bit excessive even for me so uh holding the holding some of the hair back hey abby hey bunches of people are joining right now how's everyone's weeks been what have you been up to this week since last Sunday's live. Hang on, before you start, what shoes do you have on? Oh my God, I'm being outed. Uh, actually, I have my Vans on. I don't have my sliders on today. So don't worry. Crisis averted. It's because um, people have been kicking off with me. Um, hey, Alex Rawson, love you. Um, people have been kicking off with me about my sliders because I've uh, got some sliders that I've, I wear at home and I'm getting, uh, I'm getting hate for it. <laughs> so, uh, in case anyone was wondering why I was talking about my shoes. But hey, how about just shutting up and singing a song, Joe? Yeah, how about that? There's an idea. All right then, you know what, I will. <laughs> I think it's strange How you stay when the spotlights fade Well, I think it's strange How you saw all that I displayed You see, I've got these scars my sky's not just stars This isn't my first try Of dropping my guard Well, I think it's strange But I'm glad that you stayed Well, I think it's strange How the rain well, I think it's strange how you're holding on just to see it through. You're not scared if I'll fail, if I'll fall off the rails. You don't dream of a love song, it's no fairy tale. I think it's strange But I'm glad you stay
put this chord in that song man it's too hard hello everybody if you just joined hey sam english music hey laura hey thank you so much thank you so much hey um i'm just gonna scroll through this song reminds me of a friend of mine so i'm um, smiling like an idiot oh that's cute i mean i'm sure you don't look like an idiot hey hey sir um what's under the beanie is uh my hair that's what's under there. Um, hey, Charlie McClough. Hey, Zena. Hey, everybody. Um, so, uh, yeah, what's everybody, been, what's everybody been doing this week? Did anybody watch, those of you in the UK, I mean, some of you guys outside of the UK might have just watched Boris Johnson's thing. Um, I, was, I call it a thing because it was, it certainly wasn't an informative um, statement, was it? Um, don't worry, I'm not going to go on a big political rant. I'm just going to say, I'm going to play the middle. That's what I'm going to do, because there's been a couple of requests. I'm not going to go on a big political rant, but please, please stay at home. Terrible advice. If you can stay home, please stay at home. My least favourite part of that whole thing was well, I th what I thought was hilarious, or I had to laugh because it's like if you don't laugh, I'll cry. Like, but it's like the ridiculous thing is like straight after that speech, they showed like footage of NHS staff, um, you know, talking about how overwhelmed they are by this coronavirus and like the the impact that it's having on them, like super stressed. They're like already worrying about it and they, you know, they're not switching off and it's not getting, the pressure's not easing off on them at all. So why, why are people acting like, you know, protecting the NHS is done and we're finished and we've completed it now. We can just like, just not, you know, not worry about it as much, do you know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense to me, but what do I know? So, you know, I'll be, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna be staying at home. And I think that people should, if they don't need to. Um, anyway, sorry, political rant over. Hope you're all doing, doing good. Uh, I'm gonna sing another song, then I'm gonna answer some questions. Um, so if you've got any questions, stick them in that box at the bottom. And then we'll get into it. As soon as my guitar. drink juice absolutely this is a song called the middle and every time I go through your town on the fast train I wonder what you think about if you heard my last name I bet you only told your friends about the bad days is it better now I'm keeping out of your way? Thinking about my regrets Things I should have said I never told you at the time I missed out on the warning signs I was going out of my mind You were caught in the middle Caught in the middle I'm sorry that I made it too late Waking up from my mistakes I'm sorry for Now it's all over You're in the clear I wonder if you're carrying a chip upon your shoulder It's time to heal her I was living in an overcrowded headspace It's no excuse for putting you into the bad place Thinking 
about my regrets Things I should have said But I never told you at the time I missed out all the warning signs I was pulling out of my mind You were caught in the middle Caught in the middle I'm sorry to admit it too late I'm waking up from my mistakes I'm sorry Getting some questions, shall we? What have we got? Um, question one: What is the longest gap between writing a song and releasing it? Um, uh, I wrote a song in. <laughs> I started writing a song in November, twenty eighteen. Finished it in December, twenty eighteen. I still haven't finished recording it. I didn't start recording it then, to be fair, but. Um, that's still not out and it won't be coming out for a long time until I'm properly ready. So, um, probably a long time, I guess. Some, but you know, sometimes you just feel compelled to put something out like real world, that demo that I put out, um, fairly recently. Uh, that was like, I wrote it, did a demo, put it out like two or three weeks later, just because I felt like I wanted to share it, you know? Oh, I can see out of my left eye, as in this eye, uh, yeah, I can occasionally just through, through hair. There's a lot. There's a lot of hair under here at the minute, so it's uh, it's got to stay this way. I'm afraid, so I can like tuck it, tuck it up a little bit and see. But um, answering all the important questions tonight, <laughs> what is my favourite meal? Um, pasta, pizza, um, pretty easily pleased me. Uh, what else we got going on in here? Um, we have properly decorated the tree at Christmas gig this year. Excuse me, the tree decorations last Christmas were amazing. I didn't do any of them, and that's why they looked amazing. The year before, however, they were terrible, and I take full responsibility for that. Um, but this year they were good, and the uh, last year they were good, and this year they'll be great too. Um, what else we got? Oh, I keep doing this, so I'm going to flip the camera around. There we go. God, I'm so, there we go. It's it's inevitable that I'm going to do that, you know, at least 10 times a live stream, isn't it? Absolutely rookie. No, I haven't. I'm the worst. I'm so sorry. I promise I will at some point. It's on my to-do list. I actually thought about it today, weirdly. Um, it's like I knew you were going to comment that. Um, what else we got here? Favorite favorite song to cover? Oh, do you know what? I learned a, I learned a new cover this uh, well, like last week. Well, this week I guess. Yeah, it was this week. Um, I'll play it for you. I like me better when I'm with you. 
I knew from the first time I'd stay for a long time Cause I like me better when I like me better when I'm with you I don't know what it is but I got that feeling up in this bed next to you for the room yeah it's got no ceiling if we lay let the day just passes by i might get to too much talking and i might have to tell you something damn i like me better when i'm with you i like me better I knew from the first time I'd stay for a long time Cause I like me better when I like me better when I'm with you Stay a while, stay a while Stay here with me Stay a while, stay a while oh. Just stay a while From the first time I'd stay for a long time Cause I like me better when I like me better when I'm with you There you go. I mean, that's not my favourite, favourite song to cover, but I do really like that one. So, there you go. Um, I learnt it. I'm doing a little live session video with my band for a music store YouTube channel. So, uh, look out for that in the next couple of weeks once it's done. Uh, let's get some questions. Let's get some questions. Um, can you tell us the story behind one of your songs? Um... <laughs> I'll let you guys pick what song you'd like to, what you'd like me to tell you about in the comments. So I'll leave this question there for a sec and I'll uh, let you guys pick what you want me to tell you about. Pick a song of mine and uh, I'll tell you what it's about. I'll do some hold music while I'm waiting. Drag You Down was the first one in. Something beautiful. Just a word. Um, oh, we've got to play just a word today. Man. I'll play just a word, and then I'll. Um... We got we got more votes with Something Beautiful. Oh, we'll Drag You Down. It's a t it's a tie between uh, Something Beautiful and uh, Drag You Down. At the minute, a line. I'm trying to think of some ones I've not really told the story about, like I've told the story about. I mean, um, please release just a word. It is out. It's on my. It's on my live EP. Um, I feel like people are just commenting requests of songs and not asking about this story anymore. Um, so I'll just pick one and tell a story about it. Um, obviously, it will be the story about the song. Um, drag you down. I'll do drag you down because, uh, oh, and, then I'll, and then I'll play just a word because that makes no sense and that's classic me. Um, I wrote drag you down about a relationship that I was in, and basically all relationships, um, a lot of relationships in my life, friendships as well, um, is what I mean by that. Um, where I feel like sometimes, um, People try and like rescue me from my own, you know, literally quoting the first line. It's like people people try and like save me from myself a lot of the time. Like I'm so, I'm super passionate about my career and I love doing what I do and I do it so much. I mean, I'm always gigging, I'm always writing and recording and 
you know it's exa- it can be exhausting i love it but you know it's it's a, it is hard work and i think it does take a toll on me and sometimes um people who i'm close to think that i um think it's not healthy for me to be so passionate because it's like it has like you know let's call them side effects do you know what i mean i.e. like i'm always tired or like whatever so um and you just i don't sometimes 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 stuff's hard and you don't want to like pull people into your mess do you know what i mean you know well not mess as such but like you, you know you don't want to make your problems other people's problems so that's what drag you down's about um and now i'm going to play your song that is not drag you down <laughs> um i'll play uh yeah i'll play just the word and then i'll play drag you down um good question though uh keep them coming i love i love doing the questions it's good fun i'm probably gonna flip the camera around oh no i've done it uh, am i single now yes Cool, let's do just the word.
voice like a hug. Oh, man, I wish I could get a hug. I, I miss giving people hugs. Hey, Jacob and Sophie, how's it going? See what these questions are saying. Um, duh, 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 duh. Oh, what's my favourite song that I've ever done? Um, well, one of my favourite songs I ever recorded was Drag You Down because I got to go to an amazing studio and do that. Um, but I'm really proud of a song called A Line, which um, took me ages to write because, fun fact, writing love songs is quite hard when you're not in love. Um, <laughs> who'd have thought, right? But I was like, I need to write a love song. I need to write a happy song. So um, I was like pleased with myself that I managed to do that one. Um, Close to Home is an important one to me. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm proud of all of, them, all of them, really. But I don't really have a favourite. It's like having a favourite kid. <laughs> uh, good question, though. I like that. What else we got in here? Uh, how do you feel after a gig and is it annoying if people ask to meet you afterwards? Um, I'm usually like bouncing off the walls after a gig, just like, you know, um, super excited, adrenaline's like through the roof. It's, for, it's never annoying um, if people want to ask to meet me after gigs, um, like never. Like I'm always happy to meet people. Like, I'm literally the like chattiest person ever. So, you know, I'm, I'm always up for meeting people. It's never annoying. Um, so, uh, yeah, definitely shouldn't ever worry about that. Um, good question. Have I watched Normal People yet? No, um, not yet. It's on my list. I'm not very good at watching TV. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, we got, I've got loads of questions I didn't realise. You left or you left a right-handed guitarist. I'm a left hand. I'm left handed, but I play guitar right handed. Um, Oh my god, I should learn that one. That is such a banger. Um, maybe I can just like Google the chords real quick. Uh, Google. I have to literally type Google into my laptop. Um, um, I need to. I need to watch it. I do need to watch Normal People. You're right. It's on my list. I need to watch Afterlife 2 first, is what I really need to watch. Because I love season one and I need to get, get on it with season two. Um, so, you know, check on me next week. Let me, chase me about this next week. Um, I don't even know, like, I don't even know all the words to this song, so I don't know why I've just Googled it, like. Um, I need to, like, keep an eye on it, because otherwise I lose it, and then I end up flipping my camera around. Biggest, mu biggest musical inspiration. Um, oh, good question. John Mayer, maybe? Definitely in the top, definitely in the top three. Um... I've got loads. It's hard to pick one. Um, yeah, John Mayer's jo John Mayer jumps to mind for the f for the top one. Um, but I have like different levels of inspiration, I guess. Like I have like people who are like god tier, who are like you know legends. You know, like when you look at like Beatles and you know the James Taylors and the you know the kind of the you know old you know older generation, the Jeff Lynns, the um, yeah, just that that kind of era and then there's like a mid-tier and then like people who are kind of newer artists that I look up to a lot as well um any news on releasing an album soon mm, still writing it um <laughs> no no news on releasing it yet not until I finish writing it so I'm gonna take my time I've got the time it's not like I'm going out 
but I'm working on lots of different things at the moment, so um, it's a long uh, process. Did I, did I enjoy touring with ELO? Oh my god, amazing! Best best tour of my life. Got to play in like massive arenas every night. It was unbelievable. I had an amazing time. I feel insanely lucky to have been on that tour. What uh, what's my most famous gig so far? I'm not really sure what that means, but like. Um, is that like the biggest gig I've played? Um, maybe, I mean, the, like the O2 Arena is pretty like, it's not, I don't think it's even the biggest one, but it's like the most famous, I guess, if you wanted, to, if that's what you mean. Um, uh, I keep doing this, there we go. Uh, best gig Best gig I've been to? Uh, oh, that's a really good question. Best gig I've been to? Hmm. Dermot Kennedy was really, really good. Um, Oh, do you know what? I can't pick. I've been to so many good gigs. Like, I love going to gigs. I find them... Like, every time I go to a gig, it makes me, like, want to put on a gig. Like, the next night, it's like, oh, that was insane. Like, um, I can't pick. I'm rubbish at this. You know, I keep saying, oh, you asked me loads of questions. And you ask me a question, I'm like, can't answer it. Oh, thank you so much. You are so sweet. Oh, I love you too. Um, you're the best. I miss going to concerts, yeah, so do I. I miss playing them. I can't wait to do gigs again, but, you know, there's no point until it's safe, right? Um, where am I from? I'm from the Midlands in, in England, in the UK. Um, what else we got? Uh, a couple more questions, then I'll uh, do, some, do some more singing. Oh, that's, that's too hard to answer. I don't have a favourite person. <laughs> um, I definitely can't answer a favourite person I've written a song with. Got too many favourites. They're all my favourites. Because I don't, I don't have a least favourite. That's that's the problem, you know. Has anybody, has anybody famous asked to cover any of your songs and record or record in their name? Um, no, no, they haven't. Um, I'd love it if I'd love it if a famous person wanted to sing one of my songs. Um, but they haven't, that's okay. Uh, I mean, if you have an MP3 of it or a physical copy, then yes. If, am I going to play it live again? Probably not. How, how many songs have I written? Hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds of songs. Um, okay, I'll sing a song, then I'll answer some more questions. So stick them in. Keep them coming. I'll pick another song to sing. Um... Um, what should I sing? What should I sing? These were on the old uh, keyboard to do the classic. Hope for the keyboard not to break as I move it. It's the weekly entertainment for you guys. It's like, it's like the thrill. It's like the thrill section of my live stream, isn't it? It's like. Is Joe gonna break his keyboards down today? Is he not? Who knows? Ooh, we don't like that sound. Um, let me just sort myself out. didn't break it thank you for um shouting me out on that um yeah cool It's worth a little help wouldn't hurt so 
Sometimes I wonder whether it's worth If I needed space, could I leave? Could you take the weight without me? If I lost your faith, then would you tell me? Tell me that it's alright Tell me that this one time To leave it in your hands is the best thing I can Sometimes it's heavy holding my head up And I can't pretend that I'm not under pressure See what the questions are saying. Um, love the light up keyboard. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's just like a MIDI controller by complete. Uh, it's great. See what the comments are saying. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, questions, questions, questions. Oh my God, imagine <laughs> the hair, the trainers. I was so like, I was so young, do you know what I mean? Like that was six years ago. It's crazy that that's like, yeah. I, you know, at that point I didn't have any music out. Like I didn't, hadn't, hadn't released anything. I'd literally got one, I think I had like two songs on BBC Introducing and um, you know, I was, I had like nothing. I had no manager. I mean, I, I mean, I don't have a manager now, but like I had no manager then, and I'd never had a manager. I had nothing, um, and to be put on that platform was crazy. It was such an insane experience, and yeah, just uh, blew me away. To be honest, the reception was so good as well. Like the fact that everyone got singing along and stuff was unreal. Um. Here's a ooh, deep one, deep question. When do you feel most appreciated in work and life? Um, that's a really good question. I don't know. Um, I guess when people just like really listen and like really, um, you know, I don't expect, I don't expect people to like, um, like everything that I do in my music like I don't expect everyone to like every song or like you know I don't even expect me to like every song so how can I expect every anyone else to you know um, so but when people just like you know listen thoroughly and just you know actually under try and at least understand what I'm trying to say do you know what I mean then I guess that's that's when you know it's great that you're on Patreon thank you so much for pointing that out um I'm on Patreon if you want to subscribe. Oh, I wrote, I finished, well, I finished the first draft of the first blog today. So I'm hoping to put that out this week. I just need to like 
tweak it a little bit and then uh, make it look nice. I want. I think I want to. I mean, I think I want to make it look nice. You know, like you know, put it in like a PDF and like put some nice pictures on it and stuff. Um, so uh, I'm going to try and finish that this week. So if you're not on my Patreon, if you want to sign up, uh, basically you can subscribe to me monthly from like a pound a month. Get you know, and up to ten pounds a month. It's not. It doesn't get any more expensive than that. And you can support me as an artist. Yes, Andy, I'm a DIY artist. Um, and yeah, you can you can subscribe and support me. I can keep you know your your little pound like pound a month all adds up, and I can keep making music and you know recording and touring when we're allowed to do that again. And it goes such a long way. And in return, you get like demos every month. You know, blogs. So I'm going to start a podcast later this year, and um, you get prize draws, discount on merch, all that kind of stuff. So. There's a little healthy plug for you. Um, uh, here we go. What time are we on? Oh, we've got 20 minutes left. Where Where do you get your inspiration to write music? Um, my life. Stuff that happens to me. Stuff I see. Um, and just try and, try and spin things into a new, like a different light, I guess. You know, sometimes there's things that are really, really sad and depressing and, you know stuff that makes you angry and sometimes you need to like change the view on it to make it a little bit easier to deal with or easier to understand so try and do that in songs I guess good question thank you so much um have I ever played a show in Dublin if so how was it and do you plan to come back I love Dublin um my mum's side of the family is Irish so uh I have been to Ireland many times. I also used to play Irish music as a child. I like play mandolin and banjo and went and, you know, played at the Flowers and, you know, all that. And, uh, yeah, love Ireland. I've only ever played one, like, pop gig. Like, I call them a pop gig as opposed to, like, a traditional gig, like, um, in Ireland. But that was a session, that was as a session player, like, playing bass for somebody else in their band. Um, and I would definitely come back. I don't think when I come back the second time, I'll be playing in the same venue. If I was playing at the three arena again, that would be amazing. But I can't imagine that the next time I visit, I'll be playing to 15,000 people or however many people it is. Hey, Jess Trog. Thank you. I like your face. Um, hey, Rach. <laughs> um, couple more, then another song, then some more questions, then another song. You know how it goes. Answer my toast question, bro. What's that all about? Oh, what's my favourite thing to have on toast? Um, beans, butter, jam. Not obviously all at the same time. Anything. Cheese on toast is always a winner. Whatever. Good question. Oh, my God. They're getting, they're getting real deep. What, this is the last one, then I'll do some, some songs, and then we'll do some more, uh, some more deep questions before, uh, before we run out of time. What does success look like to me? Fucking hell. Um, <laughs> I guess, like... Just being able to keep... I mean, I already feel very successful for a start. I think that's important to say. Like, I get to um, make music and share it with people. I get to make music that I really love and put as much time into it as I want. Um, and, you know, I'm happy to work for that. Do you know what I mean? You know, I'm happy to, like, keep work. Like, I can't... I haven't got, like, unlimited funds. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I want to go and record something somewhere, I have to, like go out and earn that money so I can go and do that thing. Do you know I mean, I don't have like a big fat load of money that I can just sit on, you know, I'm, you know, just like, you know, just getting, you know, getting by on a regular basis like everybody else. Do you know what I mean? It's not like I'm just like raking it in. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, if you, while you guys see me not ranting about Spotify stats and stuff, but it's like, you know, the, the royalties that get paid to songwriters is like a fraction of a penny, you know, so it's not like I'm, making millions you know um so success to me looks like um just being able to keep going you know what i mean like i love making music i love getting to i love i love who i get to make music with that's a really important part like i love everyone that i work with i'm so lucky to be able to share with so many amazing people just so many good memories you know i mean i've got so many so many good memories already and I've, i'm only 23 so like you know to be you know, able to, you know, talk for hours and hours about the things I've done and seen and who I've shared it with and stuff is already amazing. So I'm, I'm, I feel very blessed for that. Um, so yeah, that's what success looks like. So hopefully just a continuation of that. It doesn't matter what, you know, how many, you know, how many people come to shows as long as, 
like as long as I get to play shows and some people come because then I've got I've got that do you know what I mean so um, success is kind of just um, how you value what what you have you know what I mean as to me anyway um, thanks Jess Chog love you um, is music your full time job or do you work time some part somewhere else um, music is my full time job um, but I work in a lot of different jobs within music I would say um you know, I obviously do. I do my own music as a solo artist. Um, I also play in lots of different bands as a session keys player, guitar player, um, bass, what what not. You know, um, and you know, do tons of other little jobs within music, um, kind of behind the scenes stuff that I'm very happy to do and I'm very proud to do them. So, um, I guess like music is my full time job, but uh, split across lots of different things in in the music business i guess um kind of like a jack of all trades master of none that's kind of the vibes um hey sammy g hope you're well hope you're okay um thanks jess oh bless you um right uh i've got time for a song and some more questions and maybe a song to end on so uh yeah answer ask stick some more questions in i'll do another song and then uh and then answer those questions. You know how it is. Love the beanie so much, thank you. I've had this, I've had this hat for so long. Like I got it for, I think my mum got it me as a Christmas present like maybe four years ago, I think. I can't believe it's nearly been an hour already. It's crazy, isn't it? It's like 20 past 10 nearly. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll play on guitar actually, because I don't want to do this. You know when you're just not feeling it? Oh, can you sing a line? I feel like loads of people are asking for that one today. Let's do that.
Should have had a drink before I started that song because it's so high. Sorry, that was a bit pitchy. Um, do you know what? I was just reading the comments while I was singing that and it was the most wholesome thing ever. Hey, Matt Greaves. Thanks, man. Hope you're well, mate. Um, hopefully see you when this is all over. Hope you're uh, staying busy and staying healthy. Matt Greaves' music right there. Musical genius. Absolutely unbelievable. Um... But anyway, I was just saying, I was reading the comments um, and it was the most wholesome thing. I love this community of people right here. You're all amazing and you're all so lovely to each other. It's so great. I love you all. I think you're brilliant. Um, I need to play at Vicar Street in Dublin. Yes, I do. I think that's a great venue. I'd love to play there. Um... Uh, a couple more questions. What are we saying? <laughs> What's the best acoustic guitar I've ever played? Uh, your Gibson J45. <laughs> um, I love that guitar, man. I actually thought about it like a couple of weeks ago. I was like recording. I was like, do you know what this needs? It's, it's like a Gibson, like big jumbo. It sounds really smooth. I was like, that's the one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to steal it at some point. I'll swap it for something. I'll give you my guitar. Can do a trade off for a bit. You'll never let me do that. <laughs> um, what else are we saying in these questions? <laughs> I don't know it all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Your Martin was better. Oh man, you're just flirting with me now. <laughs> um, who's your favourite person you've ever met at a gig? If you let me. Well, I'm gonna have to say you then, aren't I? Fact. Um, just disclaimer, um, I love everyone I meet at gigs. Abby is a legend though. Um, she comes to loads of gigs. Absolute legend. And a mum, because I know she's watching as well. Mum's a massive legend as well. Um, do you find it hard? I'm just clicking on questions, I'm not reading them until afterwards. Do you find it hard to initially share songs as they're so personal to you, or is it freeing? Um, it depends. Most of the time, it's like... If you know you've written a song that you're really proud of, then you're you're happy to share. I'm like ha super happy to share it. You know, um, hey Tracy, by the way, I just seen you in the comments there. Um, yeah, I um, I love sharing songs with people when I'm proud of them. If I don't feel proud of a song, I don't want to share anybody. Um, but usually, I'm so proud of stuff that I'm kind of hesitant to. I should share it. I should be you know a bit more patient and wait. But I'm not very good at that, so uh, I don't do that very often. Hence like, why Real World came out. But I do manage to do it a bit. Um, couple more, qu couple more questions, and I'll finish on a song. It's got, f I've got five minutes left on the counter. We are racing through these questions now. Um, favorite beer. Uh, I've got some people watching from Ireland today and they'll be very happy to see that my answer is categorically a Guinness. Um, so if you're ever at a show and you come over to me at the merch stand and you want me to give you the biggest hug and potentially um, offer you high fives for life, um, bring me a Guinness immediately after a gig and I will love you forever. That's the way to my heart right there. It's through my liver. Come to Brazil. <laughs> Hi, Ben. <laughs> You're not in Brazil and you know that. <laughs> Good seek. Uh, right, one more question. Uh, okay, this isn't the last question because it's too silly. What's, what do you make better than... What do you make that's better than anyone? Non-music. Um, dad jokes. My dad joke game is usually pretty high. Um... After Corona, when's your next show? My next show is on the 18th of December at uh, All Saints Church in Leamington Spa. If you'd like to come, tickets are available. Um, also, please no high fives. <laughs> okay, I won't high five you. I'll just give you a big hug. Um, right, last song. Um, and last question while I tune up. What's my, what's normally the main inspiration behind our songs? Stuff I've been through, really. Um, relationships. Um, or like, 
when I've fallen out with people or, you know, anything that's affected me and made me, you know, feel some kind of strong emotion, I guess. But anyway, last song. Thank you for tuning in. See you next week. Um, if you haven't already, go check out my Patreon if you're up for it. And if you're able to support, then um, I'd love you to be on there because I'm going to be dropping uh, my blog, this my first blog post this week. Um, and I think you might enjoy it if you love these live streams and hearing me answer these questions. And I think there's a lot that you'll enjoy. Anyway. To be honest, it ain't the first time. You tell me you want this, then you change your mind Over and over, you change your mind Getting my hopes up, getting nowhere near Why do I fall for everything I hear? It's not you and I'm just confused I heard it all before And I'm not listening anymore, listening anymore I should know better by now Yeah, I should know better by now Yeah, I should know when to stay and when to go Yeah, I should know better by, better by now I look in the mirror, talking to myself I'm saying anything, but I don't know it won't help It's over and over Well, I ignore the warning signs every some of it out but it's because i got 15 seconds left i think oh no 36 seconds i read it wrong but either way i wasn't gonna make it through the whole song so i thought i'd end on a little chat so i just thought i'd say thank you so much for tuning in um i love you all um i'll see you next week and um yeah thanks so much for tuning in it makes my sunday nights a little bit more cuddly doesn't it we love a little sunday night chill out live stream don't we so um same same time next week i might do it nine o'clock next sunday um so look out for my posts in the day. But love you, as always. See you again. Bye.